Are we on the road to socialism and new awesome? Is the king on the edge of insanity? Am I on the verge of bathing? Find out this episode of Let's Play Colonization. Welcome gamers, I'm SKS, and the last time we left off, stuff happened. I don't remember what, because it's been a while since I played. So I'll try to come in here and see what's going on. Uh, my caravel seems to be doing absolutely nothing. He dropped off an ore miner here who needs to go somewhere else. This guy probably could fish and make the same amount of food. I need to go get tools somewhere with my wagon train. Yes, or we'll spoil them. We need to go get tools and bring this back, or go make a a, co or a pioneer so we can uh, plow these fields here. So I need to make a pioneer, so that might be the uh, step for this game. Or for this Let's Play episode. So let's go to New Pork and see what they have going on there. And we're still searching the Great Unknown with our scout. And the French, uh, they're, I don't want to trade with them. I'm not sure what to really do down here, because they, they seem to have me beat when it comes to bringing ships in port. So I'm going to have to rethink my strategy there. Alright, let's pick up some more items. It probably wouldn't hurt to actually bring a tool maker to this place. So maybe I should go purchase that in London with my merchantman here. So we'll send him to London. And gamers, remind me, buy, buy the blacksmith so he can make tools. We'll sit here and start being creepy creeperson. And we will send this man down. Actually... Yeah, we'll see if anybody south has tools. We'll send him here so they can have the utmost highest ore production. Because we need to start making tools and more guns. I need to start really pushing to get my colonies ready for independence. That's why I'm kind of not paying attention. Oh, they can go in the back doorway to Guadalupe. I'm definitely going to try to go after that ship there. We need to check on spam. Are the Dutch attacking the Indians? Huh. Strange things are happening in this episode, folks. We will have a master carpenter. That can always be beneficial. We need 50 tools and Fort Red. We can actually produce those because I bought ore up. So we start working on tools. Let's go up here and talk to these Indians. They'll probably show us parts of the map we don't care about. Or they'll show us nothing. Thank you. That was awesome. I really just don't know how to show my appreciation for that. Let's just try to sink this anyway. Ah, the French are getting lucky now. Alright, we're going to let them actually go into port and get something there. Well, I have a uh, pioneer there. We will have him plow. So, obviously, I was already doing what I was thinking about. Excellent. And now I understand because I won't be using tools, so I'll leave that ore there at Fort Red. see what we can have this gentleman busy doing. A ore. Excellent. We 
pretty sure we're maxed out on numbers, so I'm going to have him come over here and make food to replenish us a little bit. And that carpenter I really need to bring there to Newport. He went around the back way to get away from me. He knew what I was doing there. These French are getting on my nerves. Oh, great. He probably just declared war on me there in New Spain. Or on Spain, excuse me. I'm obviously going crazy today, gamers. It's been one of those days. Everybody's like, oh, I want this, I want that. I don't give a shit what you want. I'm trying to play colonization. Leave me alone. The gamers want to know what's going to happen in the area of New Awesome. So let's go back here to spam. And we're going to finish the stockade. And I'm going to take one of these guys and put him out here as a soldier. So that they will leave me alone. up here to our unit since he's blinking. Why the blinking? And we will come down here to Fort Boob and see what's going on here. So we're trying to pacify pretty much all the Indians around us to live in peace. We'll kick them out of their homes later in life. And I need to come down here and cut off that ship. And that should suffice there. And then we're going to let them go into port this time. I'm not going to take a chance of screwing that up. No, oh, no, gamers. I've, I've learned. I've learned from my mistakes. If you really believe that, then you've not been watching all my episodes. I'm sure I'll do the same mistakes over and over again. Hence why I keep getting my privateers sank. Yes, yes. Ooh, yes. Hopefully we will find something very nice. Very nice. I'd love for it to be muskets and horses. There was something I was going to buy, gamers. Ah, Master Blacksmith. Alright. Maybe the French will leave us alone now. We will start constructing a lumber mill. I actually need to start getting some experts over here. If Spam's going to survive during the independence, we're definitely going to have to uh, work for that. Alright, artillery. Is there anything else we need to produce here? No, we'll continue having you do artillery. actually send that to spam just so they have some protection. Ah, oh, 120 bucks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't ask me what I was doing there. I was wasting time. Alright. Dang it! Now I'm really starting to get pissed off. I guess it's better being pissed on. Alright. New Pork has a cannon. New Pork has a cannon. <laughs> I told you I'm going crazy, gamers. Oh, let's check Fort Red. Fort Red has no cannon. So we will send... 
Yeah, they need protection from the Indians, because they've been getting pretty swamped up there. So we'll send that there. If the Indians don't try to attack it on its way up. Hopefully I can sink that British merchantman, or that French, excuse me, I don't want to sink myself, and actually make money because they're beginning to really just go wherever they want on me, and I don't like that at all. Because they just had four loads of something awesome go there. I don't know, gamers, sometimes the game lets you play it, and then sometimes the game rapes you. Oh dear. Now here's where I'm going to get angry. I'm not going to pay 15%, so we're going to have a Fort Boob Tools party. Fort Boob Tools Party. Sons of Liberty throw 100 tons of tools into the sea at Fort Boob. Colonists refuse to pay new tax. Parliament announces boycott of tools. Tools cannot be traded in London until boycott is lifted. Well, they can kiss my butt. I will make my own tools. Alright, we're at plus one because we have 50%, so obviously the colonists at Fort Boob were pissed off at that. We still have a lot of tools. What are we working on here? More artillery? Excellent. We'll put him down there so we can build that artillery as fast as possible. We need 120 tools here, so we will move these gentlemen. to make tools and we'll try to get that done as soon as possible we need to go to spam to see if there's anything there to pick up the Indians are really starting to get pissed for some reason I'm not certain why See if we can actually win a battle. No. That is three in a row, gamers. Obviously, I shouldn't have loaded the game. Wow. I cannot believe I lost three straight battles. These Indians are probably pissed because they saw that cannon go by again. They was like, what the hell, eh? Yes, they're Canadian Indians. <laughs> Still working on the newspaper. That should be done next turn. Oh, see this Indian. He saw that cannon and he got spooked too. If they get off the road, we wouldn't have to worry about it. And there goes lost goods. <sighs> My pirates aren't doing very good this time, gamers. I don't know what's wrong with them. I'm seeing all these ships to sell everywhere they want. It angers me. I'm about to start drinking at 11 o'clock in the morning. Alright, newspaper has been produced. And we need to build a dry dock here so that when ships get damaged, they don't shoot all the way down to the bottom of our cities. So we'll put them to work on that. We have lumber coming in. Enough food. I actually could put this guy to work on something, so we'll make him 30 a turn, that's excellent. Alright, so we'll try to produce the dry dock as fast as possible. A new cargo of lumber is ready. <laughs> Look at my broken privateer fleet. Alright, so they're working on tools. Excellent. Everything's going well there. I thought I had a couple of uh, my blacksmith and my carpenter come in from the New World, but I'm not seeing them. They're probably on that merchantman there. Yes. So where were I going to send those? Hmm. 
might send them here to New Pork. The blacksmith, at least, they have a carpenter. And they don't have a lot of wood input, so... We'll send the carpenter... Or the blacksmith there and the carpenter somewhere else. I might send him to Spam. Our pioneers reverted the colonist status after using all of his tools. So we'll have to get him made into a... Oh yeah, they're really getting pissed now. They're like, why do you have that cannon up there on that mountain? Ah, uh, more goods are going away. I feel like I need ten privateers and just blockade the whole map. Ah, oh, blah blah blah, You're overusing our lands. That means we're going to attack you soon. They look like the green. Alright, the privateer has completed. We'll take a free colonist. And William Penn has joined us. Excellent. He's got a shovel and a Bible. Cross production in all the colonies increased by 50%. Excellent. That means we will get more people to join us on the docks. And let's see who we need to work on now. But we will look at that next time gamers so join me in the next episode of let's play colonization this is sks saying goodbye <laughs>